All right, YouTube, this will be part two to the uh, starting and introduction video of This Big Beast for Clinton and Ebony. Link to their channel is in the description and in the home page for my channel. Thanks for watching. Right, we got that out of the way. Subscribe and like and comment and share if you want to know more. Let's tackle one of the harder batteries that we're going to process the cells out of first. This is a 4 amp hour Milwaukee uh, M18 battery. What you want to do... So you're going to get to take a nice sized flat blade screwdriver and just start busting the terminals out. Now, be gentle around the positive side like, of all of these cells. If you're a bit too rough, you can nick the side of the um, insulating ring at the top and cause some issues. You will get sparks every now and again. They're not always avoidable, but as you can see, I've processed many of these because the process is there. So you just work your way along, see, some spot welded nickel strip. You get to that stage, you will get pieces like this, you just got to tear off. Have a bin handy, because you're going to have a lot of that crap. Got a nice little wheelie bin right next to me. Ready to do these. So we've got here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. No, dickhead. Yeah, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It's another 90 cells here. So, uh, providing they're all in good condition, we'll basically have this board completely done before I bring any more from inside so we've got more of these uh, both cells and um, full batteries inside heaps of cells that are already tested if you get it good you can pop them right off like that and get the whole thing undone Look at that, look at how quick we're going through them. And these aren't the fastest ones. There are better cells than these to pull apart. So there you go. We've only got one on this side that's got a dag on it, so we rip that off with the side cutters. Okay. From the negative side. Well, they're tight. Oh, wow. Doesn't like moving sometimes. Don't hit the actual cells, hit the divider, twin cells. And they'll push out like that. Once you get one out of the box, they uh, start to move a bit easier. Um, sometimes the insulated handle of the Failing pretty hard here. Let's sit that on the insulator in the middle. Oh, hopefully it's oh it's still tight. Oh, it frees the case up a bit, and you can get them out a bit easier. Right, two cells. This one, as I said, isn't the easiest one to pull apart. Because that bit's rubber, it's really quite easy to keep you. Screwdriver in the right spot because you don't really want to punch the bottom of the cell open. It'll be messy. Potentially dangerous, I suppose. Probably not. But yeah, anyway, you get the point. So you get them apart. 
beautiful clean INR 186520 R's popping out of them. So that's the Milwaukee 4 amp late model. That's the newer, newer one. So there is an older one. It's a 13Q. We're not even going to talk about that one. Another day. 20R. Here's an early 20R. As you see, they're not in a cage. So when you get these ones, same process. Start blasting that uh, nickel strip off. Try not to stab yourself. This screwdriver is about yay big for reference. It's a cheap crap one, so I can't even tell you what size flat blade it's meant to be. But you get the idea. Bit of smoke and some sparks there. Just got to be quicker. You're getting sparks. You're moving too slow when you're doing them. It is like 11 o'clock at night on a uh, Sunday night before I go back to work, so starting to be worn out and slow for the day. Stop bumping the camera. Get your side cutters. Rip. Rip them strips off. You want all them tags going out of your way. You don't want to be dealing with them. So once you've done that, your cells will fold over. You grab that divider out. These cells, you've already got them as well. So they'll fold out. What I tend to do is grab them in groups of two, three, or even four. Twist, that'll break the cell connector. Like that. Every battery you pick up that's not the exact same as this will be different and harder to do. These are probably some of the easier ones. But they still all take time, like there's a lot of time invested in this battery before we even start soldering or doing some time consuming crap. The uh, whole process is slow, it takes time, costs money. It's got to be done. I'm making it a really really cool battery you go and price a lithium battery for a rv camper van thing one you probably won't find one that holds 18650s and uh two i wouldn't want to imagine what it'd cost you like it would be be next be next level um wouldn't mind building a few of these for people um, it'll be a storage system but uh, it's definitely something that you do late of an evening with a beer in this case because it's a uh, it's a damn tedious process alright let's pick a different brand no point doing the same one over and over again this is an AEG 1.0, no, 2 amp hour um, cell, as you can see, water damaged, cells are probably fine, BMS board is dead, similar to the caged Milwaukee 4.0, uh, yeah, if you're in America, you'll call it a XC 4.0, if you're in Australia, they'll be called a, just a 4 amp or a 4.0 amp battery, I don't think they have the XC branding I think that was an American branding thing go along and just start breaking the tags get them all off and out of your way like that while well, you've got them up and out of the way bust them off the cells the spot welds are fairly weak they come off alright that one's got a temperature sensor that wasn't anything special you want a decent size open box or bin or something to flick the things into. You don't spend all day just flicking them. Especially if you want to make an 800 cell battery. Okay, so pop that open. 
pop that open. And so we're going to be able to make a complete cost breakdown. I'll have links to all the things I use in each of my videos, um, including the cell frames. We'll do a bit of talking about the test equipment. I've got a uh, 18650 tester, which is an Opus 3100, um, which came from banggood.com. The cell frames came from banggood.com. Um, the Opus was supplied for free because I make review videos and things like that. And then you just simply push them out, see how they just slide out. 20R. So a lot of the stuff will come from Banggood. I'm going to make out of some LG cells with the I'm going to finish this battery bank down here, this uh, one I've been using for the little 12, 12 volt one that I've been using on the 12 volt inverter. That's all 2 to 2500 milliamp hour cells. So I'm just going to use some of the other random cells that I've got to make one more pack for that and we'll make that 4S so we can have a play with these style of BMSs. Um, it's rated at 30 amps. I don't believe it. I don't think it's big enough for that. The 25 amp one that's on this thing doesn't like any more than 15 as a charge. So yeah, I don't know. We'll buy something better for this big battery. I'm going to have a play with these on a smaller battery if you're interested in some BMS videos. But I can give you links to all those BMSs and things. Look, 12 watt one's holding up well on this pack that we're talking about. That's done a bit of work already. And, uh... Still going sweet, so keep your fingers crossed for that. But like I say, everything that uh, I buy and review, if I get it for free, there's no super bias to it. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I want to show people what I've got, but there's no uh, no commercial agreements in place that say I have to say nice things about any of the products, wherever they come from. So uh, I'll give everything a fair test and a fair review because my product getting reviewed that's what I'd like don't say anything bad about it unless there's a lot of bad things to say about it um, anything you buy from banggood.com there's a link in the video description down here uh, down in the bottom there which will say what can you do to help this channel for free there's a few things you can do you can share the videos with your friends you can like the videos you can subscribe subscribing doesn't actually make that much difference so if you don't have a YouTube channel um, Blogging, not the end of the world. Um, subscribers are only a number. Not everyone watches everything they're subscribed to. I know I certainly don't have time to watch everything I'm subscribed to. I'm not by no means the busiest thing in the world. So it's a better example of bring them all down like a bunch of grapes. A bit of a flex off here. I might start snapping. like any bit of steel or nickel whatever it is it work hardens so a few flexes or split and crack that's all the balancing points to the BMS on, on board and just in these few short minutes we've got some cells processed you're not going to be this fast the first time you do them uh, take your time the first time you do them so you don't damage the cells if you damage the cells potentially throwing money in the bin because a dodgy cell, like you've seen in the first video, has to be dealt with as a dodgy cell. If in doubt, recycle it. Lithium batteries can be un well, dropped. Can be <laughs> unforgiving. Oh, there he is. If operated outside safe parameters, keep them inside safe parameters with a BMS, fuses, temperature control, ventilation. It's happy days. Enjoy the benefits of a good lithium battery. Now I reckon on this battery we'll go ahead and run a Phoenix 800 um, 800 VA. He doesn't need a huge amount of power in his van but it needs to be good clean power. He's got a rather expensive laptop he does video editing with and um, I think that's got an onboard 1050 or 1060 GPU, so it's quite a power-hungry thing. 
and uh, he renders up some pretty cool videos. Also, charging drones, GoPros, Osmos, things like that. All those things are sensitive electronics. You don't want to put your money in a cheap crap inverter and plug thousands of dollars worth of gear into it. Just doesn't make financial sense, does it? It's like buying a Ferrari and getting the cheapest insurance you can. Just silly. Righto. So, I'm going to take all of them inside. They can go through the uh, process of being processed. This is just an example of uh, how quick you can process them. I'm out here in the shed. It's late on a uh, Sunday night. Processing away. By the time we put these through the... Uh, all of these through the um, discharger inside and have a look on the uh, discharger inside and pull these ones out. I'm going to do some desoldering. We will certainly have more than enough to make the third pack and then I'm just going to have to get some more. But that's cool. We've got plenty of work to do in the meantime. I'll keep you updated. Some subscribe buttons over here. Poking and Sunder of Science channel. Top of the video description in here. Matt from Taz Solar's credentials where you can find him in the top of there and uh, there's some more videos here I'll make a playlist, this is going to be the uh, yeah, let's call it Pokey's battery and uh, keep you updated, thanks heaps for watching next step will be uh, packing these up and um, I'll show you the process that we go through to charge, discharge and rate all these cells thanks guys catch you in the next video